Yo, what's up, YouTube? Um, I just wanted to share some uh, old work with you today. Um, I'm doing Inktober this year, 2023, and uh, uh, it's gonna be quite an endeavor because I'm doing a 31-page comic, um, inking in a 31-page comic. Um, so I thought it would be cool to go back into uh, some of the older Inktober projects that I did. Um, and actually, the two that I want to go through are related to this new Inktober project. So, um, this was Inktober 2016, and this was kind of the seed of an idea I had um, for a graphic novel series called Theo. Uh, which is the main character is his name is Theo and it's like a, a dark fantasy epic um, and so this was a good opportunity for me to go and take the prompts um, from the Inktober list and just try and flesh out uh, some of the world and just explore uh, with some of the characters that I designed in sketchbooks and um, yeah, so at this point it was just an idea and I, I had drawn the character, I'd drawn his sword and these thorns and some other characters and I didn't necessarily have a, a, a story yet so this was me exploring maybe what the story could be. Um, and so I just thought I would flip through um, and show you. So this was a just a sketch that I did um, and made it the cover of this little um, book that I made. Um, so yeah, I don't remember all the prompts. I'd have to go back and, and look for the 2016 list. Um, this was probably something like Leap <laughs> or something like that. Um, but let me move this camera a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, so this was the first real uh, concept drawing for my graphic novel series, Theo. And uh, really from the start, he hasn't changed a whole lot. Um, but it, it's just, it was such a good uh, challenge with the prompts to come up with something with this character. And this wasn't in my sketchbooks. I just made a, a creature up for this drawing and he may or may not be in the story now, but uh, you'll have to find out. Yeah, we got um, some fairies that I <laughs> started drawing. I was very inspired by um, uh, Guillermo del Toro's uh, Pan's Labyrinth and just things that had that sort of, uh, that feel, um, that fantasy vibe, that kind of darker, um, darker take on fantasy. And uh, so that's where these little critters came from, I think. Um, early drawing of my character Lord Demas who would change a bit uh, from this he's still kind of a, a demon guy but um, his design has changed quite a bit actually it changes through these drawings um, as I'm as I do them so yeah again I don't remember the prompt words for these but um, yeah these were so much fun. I was penciling pretty loose and then just going in with the inks and uh, having a blast. These are still some of my favorite drawings. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is part of the story or not, but um, whatever the prompt was, this is what came out of it. <laughs> this giant monster. Uh, this may or may not be a scene that I can't say because it might be Okay, I won't say anything else. <laughs> These are some weird guys that I came up with um, in an old sketchbook. Like, I, I think I uncreatively called them the six senses, where each of them has, like, one feature. Like, he has one ear, but no eyes, nose, or mouth. Same with this guy. This guy has one eye, but no ears, nose, or mouth. This guy just has a mouth and this guy just has a nose. So all together, they're kind of a hive mind and can hear and see and I don't know. It's a weird concept and their designs are really creepy and gross. <laughs> I 
I don't think they're part of the Theo lore anymore. It, they, I mean, they never were. This was just a concept drawing for Inktober, but um, I don't see them being part of this universe. Maybe in a different way, a different design, possibly, but um, this is one of my favorite drawings from this uh, series. I just love the how the composition came together. Um, in this realm, there are ancient giants that have been kind of overtaken with uh, just the earth and kind of become mountains. Um, so, yeah. This was so much fun. Theo climbing up this cliff. Looks like a fairy is showing him the way to something. Don't know what, but uh, looks like he's about to find out. Looks like we have some angry, uh, an angry tribe of some creatures. <laughs> and Theo is, oh man, he's in trouble. He's running from these guys, but also has this giant serpent about to snatch him up. Hopefully he gets away. Oh, there he is. He does. <laughs> this is another one of my favorites from this series. Just him facing off with the Lord Demas guy. Sword's broken for some reason. I don't know why. It just looked cool. Um, yeah. This, I don't know what the prompt was for this, but... Um, He's pulling like a, like a crate or cage full of skulls and bones through this like swamp. These fairies, he has a weird creepy staff and keys. Don't know, but it was cool to draw and really fun to draw. This one was really fun to draw. I remember being very loose with my pencils on this one and just going for it in the ink and uh, really liking how it turned out. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what the prompt was for this, but it looks like he's washing off maybe blood or something. Maybe he, uh, I don't know, maybe he killed something with his sword and is sad that he had to kill something and this fairy's telling him that there's a, I don't know, some creature reaching out. Not sure. Not sure what what's happening in this picture. But it was fun to draw. Oh, we got these, like, I don't know, witches of the, of the woods. In uh, the next Inktober video, I will show you a, uh, a different version of these creatures that I did in 2017. Because I, this is my 2016 Inktober, and um, in 2017 I did the same thing, just some concept art for Theo, and uh, they make another appearance, but have a slightly different look. I'm not sure which is creepier. This was fun getting that lighting. This lantern here just shining. This I said that I said the one earlier was my favorite of this series, this. But this one. This one comes real close. I think they, I think those are a tie. If I, yeah, I think they're a tie. This one is actually pivotal to the, the story of Theo and uh, you will see why uh, in the future. I'm working on the book right now. And uh, yeah, this is a, a scene that um, is pretty important. So I won't say anything else. 
another kind of silhouetted drawing. I really liked doing this, like the grass that um, goes into the negative. Rain. Pouring rain. <laughs> I was messing with like, yeah, how would you draw wet hair? How would you draw um, like sheets of rain coming down? And I was trying to do this super fast and, um, you know, I like the effect. It's a little, uh, I don't know, maybe sloppy, but um, I think it gets the effect across pretty well. Here's what I was talking about with uh, the Lord Demas kind of getting a design change a little bit where I was kind of taking inspiration from like uh, tiger and lion faces and uh, just when they, they snarl and growl and kind of using that as inspiration, so yeah. Oh, there he is again, Theo running from him. Theo must have got him with his sword. <laughs> got these vines, like, coming after him. This one's like a, I don't know, like, angel of death or something. Theo ain't looking too good. He's not looking too hot. <laughs> Just beat up. He's always getting beat up. I draw him like that a lot. <laughs> it's a poor guy. Oh yeah. I don't remember the prompt for this one either, but uh, I don't know if this is part of the story or not. Could be, we'll see. Um, Lord Demas summoning the ancient giants from the dead to do his bidding. some like dragon creatures or something going on that was a lot of fun and the last one also another pivotal scene uh the sword in this demon skull looks like the fairies are trying to show theo and then uh yeah i made this little booklet so i have a bunch of these little thumbnails i i was doing a lot of these thumbnail sketches on uh like post-it notes um yeah lots of fun some more progress shots of you can sort of see like rough pencil um kind of getting the composition down then a little bit tighter and then some ink ink detail. Here's that really loose penciled one. I started the inks and some loose thumbnails. And here's a drawing that I really love of uh, Lord Demas, the evil guy. Very inspired by um, the demon from uh, Bald Mountain in Fantasia as well. Um, Lots of inspiration drawn from that for him. So yeah, that's my Inktober 2016 concept art for Theo. Um, hope you enjoyed looking at that stuff. Uh, I look forward to doing more videos on Inktober related stuff and updating you on my current Inktober endeavor. Um, I'll have videos on that pretty soon and uh, hope you guys will join me on that journey. Starting October 1st, I'm going to be documenting, doing short video vlogs, and uh, yeah, hope you'll join me. Uh, hit like, subscribe if you uh, are interested in being notified when I have new videos, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Peace.